Welcome back to KP's Kingdom, cooking with KP, and today I'm going to show you how I make this awesome satay chicken, and how pretty does that look? Alright, simple, easy, but let's get on with it. First thing we need to do is make our satay sauce. You could use a pre-bought sauce if you want, but we're making this one from scratch. You need to go back and watch my satay sauce recipe. It is quite easy, it is quite simple, and it will stay in the fridge quite comfortably overnight or even two nights. So make a satay sauce up. And what we have now is some chicken thighs. Now, I'm gonna take these thighs out, and depending on how they have been filleted, we might need to just cut maybe some connective tissues there and maybe run our knife down through some of the thick bits there. We're just gonna cut these up into nice little pieces, nice little medallions, if you wanna use that word. And some of those thick bits, we wanna just partially butterfly and make them nice and thin. Make them all exactly the same thickness if we possibly can. So just use your knife, get rid of that connective tissue object as I've just done there. And we're using thighs because it has that beautiful amount of fat in there. And that fat is going to be flavor. So I'm just gonna cut through all of those. I'm gonna save you the time. We're gonna season them up with some freshly ground black pepper and maybe a sprinkle of salt as well. Just make sure we've got some nice seasoning and there we go, some pink Himalayan salt goes straight over the top like that and it's going to give us just a real nice simple flavour. Now, we're heating up our satay sauce that we actually did cook the night before. It's a very simple recipe, very easy and we did make it from scratch. Please go back and watch that video and we might need to water that down just a little bit because we're reheating it and we don't want it to burn. Right. Now, I've got a fry pan, I've got a little knob of butter around about maybe 15 grams worth that can go straight in like that and the other thing we're going to do to stop that butter from burning is we're going to add in just a little bit of oil i'm just using a little bit of vegetable oil there you could use a peanut oil if you wish now we're going to melt all of that down get a real nice lubricated fry pan now as you saw, I took the uh, rest of the butter out. We don't want too much. We just want the flavor of the butter in there. And we can start adding our little thigh pieces straight into the pan like that. We have that at a fairly reasonable heat, around about medium high. And we're just gonna let those sit. And after about five minutes or so, we can give those a bit of a turn. They're not gonna take too long to cook at that heat, but we do want to make sure they are cooked absolutely thoroughly and we want a little bit of a brown char on them. Now, we flip those on the other side. We're gonna give those a quick season with a little bit of black pepper and salt again. As you can see, we're starting to get a nice little brown crust on those pieces of chicken, which is exactly what we want. So we're gonna cook these off in total, probably around about 12 minutes or so, and just let them uh, cook off we're going to take those out, put those onto a baking tray, just like that. We're going to put those into the oven at around about 100 degrees Celsius until we get our sauce all organized and warmed up. When our sauce is all done, we've laid that down. Nice little stack of brown rice right in the center, just for presentation and also for healthiness. Now, all we need to do now is get our chicken at some point and lay that straight down on top of that beautiful satay sauce. Very, very simple, very, very easy. And if you haven't tried making your own satay sauce before, wow, where have you been? It is easy, it is simple, and it tastes amazing. Also, making your satay chicken, very simple, very easy. And this is a lot healthier than buying the pre-bought store sauce. So we're just gonna lay our chicken straight down on top of the sauce, just like we are doing there. Mm. And if you haven't had satay chicken before, wow, you do not know what you're missing. It is such a beautiful, simple flavor, and everybody loves it. And if you want to make your sauce a little bit uh, less spicy, just leave out some of the chili, and you will end up with a really good all-round sauce that the kids will love as well. All right, so there you go. KP's satay chicken. How easy was that? Thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. If you like this video, hit that like button. It gives me confidence and should make you feel warm and fuzzy too. Don't forget to share this video with all your friends on social media, on all platforms of. We want to start growing this channel a little bit more. 
add a little bit more chili over the top of this chicken just to really give it a bit more of a zing all right don't forget hit that notifications bell you'll be notified every time a new video goes up but more importantly you want to learn how to make nice little asian dishes like this or even others well after i garnish my chicken with some coriander like that mm. anyway come join the family my family hit the subscribe button and you'll never miss another one of my videos again all right i'm off to eat my satay chicken and i will catch you next time bye